Indian Shoes was an uh, early book that I wrote. We have repackaged it is what we call it in publishing. We gave it a bit of a facelift and made it available in paperback so it's more affordable to kids. But something that we did that I was really excited about was bringing in Cherokee Illustrator. Sharon Erla did a new cover and Mary Beth Timothy did interiors. The models on the cover are Cherokee Nation citizens. Um, one of my favorite moments was receiving a picture of the young model holding, proudly holding up his book and showing, you know, that he was a literary celebrity now too. I also had the opportunity to revisit the text and update it a bit. A lot's happened in 20 years of daily life, technologically, in other words, otherwise, as well as to write a fresh author's note. And that's, that for me is something that has changed quite a lot. When I was originally writing author's notes, I was thinking about it very much for the grown-up readers of children's literature. And I think it's because I was always thinking about the kids who would skip the back matter and thinking that's the territory of grown-ups. But then when I stopped and thought about it, I was one of those kids that read every single word cover to cover. And so now as I've matured as an author, I see that as an opportunity to speak from the heart to young readers and offer them a bridge from that fictional world back to the real one and just let them know how much I love and appreciate and value them. And they are the heroes of their own stories. So that is something that is a signal of growth um, for me as a creative artist that hopefully is a bit of a virtual hug to the kids who are connecting with my book.